Good afternoon, my name is Inis Ann Cuyos and I will discuss about determination of moisture content, of course, in fine aggregates. The reference standard used is ASTM C56696 or the standard test method for total evaporable moisture content of aggregate by drying, which is applicable to both fine or coarse aggregate and is the most commonly used procedure. And ASHTO T25592 are the standard method of test for determining total moisture and free moisture in aggregate, coarse, and fine, which has many similarities to the method outlined in ASTM C566 and can also be used on both fine or coarse aggregates. However, it is typically used in preparation for hot mix asphalt applications. Before we proceed to the topic, we must know the objectives. To learn the procedures for determining the amount of moisture in aggregates. To quantify the components of evaporable moisture in aggregates. To calculate and compare the total evaporable moisture with surface moisture. There are three characteristics controlled by porosity. Density, absorption and surface moisture, and soundness. Under absorption and surface moisture, there are different moisture conditions of aggregates. These are damp or wet, air dry, saturated surface dry or SSD, and oven dry. Aggregates are porous materials that can absorb moisture internally as well as adsorb moisture on the exterior surface. Despite the fact that we seek hard, dense, clean, sound, stable, and non-reactive aggregates for use in precast concrete, high-quality cores aggregate still contains minute pores. These pores can hold measurable amounts of moisture, which can have a significant impact on a concrete mix. Fine aggregate must also be closely monitored because it is prone to bulking, which causes fine aggregate to hold water between the aggregate particles. But why does it matter? Aggregate moisture content fluctuates from day to day and can even change from R to R depending on how they are stored as well as exposure conditions like sun, wind, rain, and humidity. Weighing and batching wet aggregate into a mix without accounting for its unique moisture condition at the time of batching would result in adding an insufficient amount of aggregate to the mix while adding excess water. Terminology Moisture content, aggregate, voids, absorption, and surface moisture or free moisture. Moisture content is the quantity of water contained in a material. In biology, the term moisture is associated with the presence of liquid, particularly water. Aggregate is a material or structure formed from a loosely compacted mass of fragment. It is used in building and construction that is mixed with cement, bitumen, lime, gypsum, or another adhesive to form concrete or mortar. Voids are spaces or gaps inside a material. The volume of void is equal to the difference between the aggregate mass gross volume and the volume occupied by the particles alone. Absorption is an action by which a material absorbs or is absorbed by another. This is a different process from adsorption. Surface moisture or free moisture is an absorbed water and moisture coating the surface. It is the free water retained on the surfaces of aggregate particles and considered to be part of the concrete mixing water, as opposed to absorbed moisture. Apparatus or materials Of course, we need coarse aggregate sample or fine aggregate sample, but in this case, we need coarse aggregate. An oven, a sample container, a balance sensitive to 1 gram, and a sieve. Next are the procedures. We have two different procedures in determining the moisture content. 
the total moisture content of coarse aggregates and the free moisture content of coarse aggregate in the saturated surface dry condition. In total moisture content, we have four steps. First, we must obtain the prescribed test sample size. Then, weigh the sample to the nearest 1 gram. We need to do this quickly to avoid moisture loss. Next, under controlled temperature, dry the sample in an oven. The sample is completely dry when further drying would cost less than 0.1% additional loss in weight. Lastly, weigh the dry sample to the nearest 1 gram. In free moisture content, we have 5 steps. First, we must also obtain the prescribed test sample size. Then, soak the sample for 24 hours. Next, weigh the wet sample to the nearest 1 gram and avoid moisture loss. Using a towel, wipe the surface dry until it loses its shine and immediately weigh the saturated surface dry sample to the nearest 1 gram. According to your observations, fill the data needed in the table. In data analysis, we have the formula for total moisture content and absorption. For total moisture content, moisture test sample minus moisture observed all over moisture observed then multiply by 100%. For absorption, Moisture saturated surface dry minus moisture observed all over moisture observed then also multiply by 100%. To help you understand the procedures, I provided two examples via YouTube videos. Total evaporable moisture content of aggregate by drying. Obtain a representative sample and ensure that the sample weight meets specification requirements. Tear the pan. Alternatively, record the empty weight of the pan. Record the wet weight of the sample. Dry the sample to a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool to room temperature. Record the dry weight of the sample.
These are the sources I use for my report. Thank you for listening.